So in this video, we're going to go through the Broadbean integration. Uh, that's both in terms of posting out a uh, requirement to Broadbean in the form of an advert, which is then sent on to uh, multiple job boards, um, and then the process of an application actually coming back in via one of those job boards, which you can then see on the requirement uh, as an applicant. Um, and then from there, you have the workflow to uh, to register that candidate, to long list them against the requirement, um, and then to proceed from there. So it's the full 360 uh, process of uh, the Broadbean integration that we'll be, we'll be demonstrating here. Um, the first thing I wanted to go through was just the process of enabling the functionality. So within the admin area under user group permissions, what you'll see, um, let's go to the, the option here, what you'll see is a setting which uh, says enable post to Broadbean. Um, so this is the option that's available within the toolbar of a requirement. Um, if this is set to uh, full access, then your, that functionality will work as expected. If it's set to no access, um, then you'll see the icon there, but it'll be grayed out and it won't be uh, something you can click on to, to work. So um, that functionality needs to be set to full access so that you can post to Broadbean. The other element which is key as well is on your user settings. So um, use settings being the option off your uh, right hand side of this user settings option here under the section of integrations, you've got Broadbean username and Broadbean password. So it's understood that broad, uh, in an organization, there'll be multiple Broadbean accounts, um, each user having their own Broadbean access. Um, and that essentially is why the, the Broadbean username and password is a, a user setting as opposed to something that's done within global settings as a generic all encompassing account. Um, it's done on a, on a per user basis. Um, so you need to make sure that your Broadbean username and Broadbean password has been added into these fields here. So it can be utilized um, automatically when you're using the functionality in the system. So we're now within our requirement record, and it's assumed at this stage that you have a requirement record which is ready to be posted to Broadbean. It contains all of the uh, essential field data that you've uh, needed to populate. So you have a job description um, that contains details about the role, and essentially it's ready to go over to Broadbean. Um, so to do this, we would click on the post to Broadbean option. Now clicking on that option will present uh, an alert which advises essentially that it's going to open a new tab, logging you into Broadbean, and then that uh, process will then continue within the Broadbean site. So we'll hit yes there, a new tab opens, Julie, and you're logged into um, the uh, Broadbean account that you have set up. Um, and essentially within this area, what you would have listed before you are all of the job boards that you have access to by the nature of your uh, contract with Broadbean. Um, for us, this is a demo um, account, so we have access to one job board here, which is the Broadbean test board. So we'll just select that as an option there and hit continue, but you would select all of the different job boards that you have access to here. Um, we'll set continue there, and then we go through into the next stage along. Um, from here, we would select the industry. Uh, that we want to uh, essentially assign the role within, um, and we would confirm the location. Um, so I'll just enter the location in there. It does a look up, and then you specify the location there. Um, from there, you just verify your details, and then you would hit continue. We continue through into the final page. It lists out all of the information with regards to the, the advert, and from there, you can hit send advert. And at this stage, the advert is now sent. So that's just a confirmation uh, tick there. We will close that off. Um, and then that's our, um, uh, essentially our um, advert posted now on Broadbean. Um, on the job boards tab, if we select uh, job boards here, you'll see that um, it does a, it performs a sync. It looks at your account, at what you have uh, posted up as, as uh, um job adverts in relation to this requirement and then it brings those back. So you can see here that we have an advert posted. It's in relation to this job board. If you had multiple job boards, it would list all of the different uh, job boards here as individual entries against this post. It's been posted via Broadbean on this date um, and obviously referencing this account. And at the moment as it stands, we have zero responses. So what we'll do now is we'll go through the process of applying for a, um, a vacancy via a job board um, as, as a way of uh, essentially simulating a, a candidate application. Uh, we'll see that appear in here and then we'll go from there. So to create an applicant, what we'll do is we'll select the job board. You'll notice the open advert and delete post become available. If you wanted to delete 
um, the specific post against that job board, then you could do so by selecting that option. But we'll hit open advert. Uh, and what that will do is it will give us an, a, an alert that's essentially advising that it's going to log into Broadbean again in a new tab. We'll hit yes there to that. We open up a new tab and we log into Broadbean uh, again using your uh, user account details. Um, and essentially take, it takes us to the actual advert that, uh, that we created through the uh, posting to Broadbean. Um, what we'll do now is we'll, we'll go through the process of uh, going to the... Um, application page of the uh, advertisement. Obviously, we're using a test broadbean uh, job board. Uh, so it looks uh, like this when we click apply online. Uh, it looks like this, but obviously, um, depending on the job boards that you are using as association with contract, it's going to appear um, within those job boards in their own, uh, their own versions and, and design. Um, what we'll do here is we'll just add in An applicant name as an example. Put a number in there. And then we'll ass assign a CV. This one. And then we confirm that we're eligible to work. And we'll hit apply now. So that's the sorry, that's the application uh, completed within the uh, Broadbean site. Um, if we close down those tabs now, and then what we'll do is refresh on the requirement record, and we'll go back to the job boards tab, um, and then that response will come through. So on the job boards tab now, we can see again that same uh, post to Broadbean. Uh, again, that again that gets that job board, but we, now we have responses of one uh, there. And if we select that job board, we'll see that uh, advertisement come through or see that applicant come through. A separate name, obviously, uh, being Mark Payne. Uh, there's the email details, again, to confirm the source and the date they've applied. We've then got three options here. One is to download that uh, applicant's CV, if we want to just quickly look at it. The other option is to parse the CV, if we want to actually process um, applying and, or sorry, adding the um, applicant to the system as a candidate record. And the final option here is to actually long list the applicant. So that is to essentially parse the CV, uh, create the candidate record in the system, but also simultaneously long list this applicant um, to this requirement in, in one workflow. Um, so to demonstrate sort of everything all in one go, we'll, we'll do long list applicant. And on selecting that, again, it's going it's to confirm that to do that will require the opening of a new tab because uh, we want to stay within the requirement. We hit OK there, and what happens is the CV is downloaded from the application. Um, it is sent over to our parsing engine. It is parsed, um, and there you can see there we're, we're in the um, CV parser view, um, and, and obviously the, the CV itself has been parsed uh, and is ready to be processed. Um, we'll just deal with some of the uh, mandatory fields that we have to deal with. that should be ready to process. Um, one thing you'll note is that um, it obviously still advises about uh, duplicates. It's obviously doing a duplication check as part of this process. Um, if we hit OK there and actually view those duplicates, um, on selection of any of these duplicates, if we realize that the candidate is already registered on the system, on selection of their candidate, you'll see here an option here that says long list selected candidate. Um, so you do have the option to um, choose an existing candidate on the system if you suddenly realize that they've already been uh, or they're already on the system and then long list them as part of this workflow. Um, but what we're going to do is assume that um, it, it's not a registered candidate. It's not a candidate that we um, uh, have on the system. So we're going to hit register there. Uh, again, we get that warning about duplication, but we're going to say OK. We'll register the candidate now um, with the candidate um, essentially rec the record being created on the system. And then as part of that registration process, what you're going to get is a, a confirmation alert that the candidate's been uh, created, uh, but also they've been long listed to the requirement as well. We've got can 10 candidates successfully long listed to requirements. Click here to open the requirement record. Uh, so we're already, see, um, we're already up, obviously in the requirement record itself. So if we go onto the candidates tab, We'll see there that we now have that applicant um, registered as a candidate and long listed against this job. So that's the full uh, 360 process of 
um, an applicant coming into uh, the system, or should I say a requirement being posted out to, to Broadbean, a applicant applying for um, a uh, an advert, applying for the role, um, and then obviously that response coming back and you long listing that candidate um, into the system. And now that candidate has obviously been associated with the requirements. So that's the full 360 uh, of the Broadbean integration. Mm -hmm.